Hey y'all, happy new year. Welcome to 2022. Hey, so welcome back to my channel. It's me, it's Chelsea Jackson. And on this channel, I talk about plus size fashion, travel, lifestyle, and product reviews. So if any of those things interest you, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. So that way you're notified every time I upload a video, which is typically every Sunday and Wednesday. Y'all, I am happy it's the new year. New year, new me. So last year i saw y'all comments y'all were asking me and requesting that i do more videos for the plus size ladies with more luxurious company um lines or whatever so y'all wanted me to get more into luxury clothing so i saw y'all comments so now y'all got it y'all asked and now y'all got it and i'm kicking off this new year with this brand stod now this stock this company started in 2015 based in la and they're carried not only on their website stock.com but it's carried in all the major department stores Saks, uh neiman's um and you know the other different sites so yeah i got this from stod.com and y'all I'm really excited to get into this because I was introduced to this brand earlier last year with Britney Pockets and Bows. She had a um, collaboration with Saks. They sent her some pieces over and this particular dress and this particular colorway was one of them. And I fell in love with it since, um, but I was kind of nervous because I'm like, okay, is it one of those dresses that... Because on Britney, it kind of fit a little bit bigger because she, I know she said she had to size down. She got a large and um, she needed to size down so I was like okay it's really not fitted on her so I really couldn't tell but I was wondering if it was one of those dresses that kind of hook every curve if you know what I mean you know if you have any love handles if you got the fupa going on would it be flattering on those type of on um, body types which is what I have so I you know heard a lot of people say different things I would post them in my uh, the dresses in my stories and you know I would have people say different things about it so I decided to do my you know I wanted to get it myself and create my own opinion on these particular dresses and then I wanted to give you guys a full-on review now I bought these dresses I bought two and I bought them with my own money so I'm gonna give you a full-on review I'm going to let you know how it is, you know, so I ain't afraid to step on a company toes or anything like that. We just going to give you the real tea. And I wanted to give it to you from a plus size perspective because this channel, I like for it to be more so of a resource. You know, more of my resourceful videos, if you notice, are my higher performing videos on this channel. So I kind of want to keep up the same energy, just like the video I did last spring this past spring with me trying on all of the luxury sandals, Chanel's, the Hermes orange uh, sandals, Tory Burch. And that video was, is one of my, I think, highest performing videos yet. And yeah, I want this channel to be more so of a resource to give you the real deal, honest tea on all of this good stuff. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Well, we're going to start with number one, the fit of the dress. This is a size extra large. It goes up to an XL. Now I'm going to show you in the cutaway, the stretch and the fit and the feel in uh, my other colorway that I have, but I'm going to show you here as well. This is the stretch of this dress. Okay. <laughs> so I'm a 1820. And this is the stretch of this dress. So it's a lot of stretch. And, you know, so I, I would say comfortably up to a 24 probably can get in this dress before the dress starts looking like the button starts looking stressed and looking like they want to pop. So, yeah, this much space. Yeah, this much space can get into it until the buttons start looking like they're about to pop. So yeah, so if you're up to, I would say a size 24, and depending on your body proportions, you can definitely get into an XL. So 
don't go looking for you know if it don't got two x i can't get into it because y'all know how i feel about a lot of clothes too which is the reason why i wear zara a lot a lot of people like to sleep on zara because it's like is zara all you see are skinny models things like that some of the clothes actually have stretch and if it has stretch you can get into it so i really don't like to shine automatically on some things just because they don't have a 2xl or 3xl but yeah, this right here, like I said, comfortable up to a 24 in my opinion. Um, so that's with the fit. Um, it feels comfortable. If you see in this picture right here, this dress is more so on a maxi, is a is a maxi on me because I'm 5'2. Very short. <laughs> so yeah, it's a maxi. It does come to my ankles. It does come just above my ankles, so yeah, it's more so of a maxi. So if you're taller, of course, it's going to come up a little longer. So that's as far as the length goes. The length of the sleeves, this is it right here. They're very long, so if you are a long person, you're good to go. You got some, you got some, some fabric to spare. So yeah, so if you're tall, you're good. Now let's get to, the, now that's the fit, let's get to the quality and the feel. Now the feel of this fabric, I would say it's a, a spring or summer knit, if I could say that. It's a light knit, it's not sweater like, like wow. this is the type of knit I thought it would be made out of. So like a real sweater knit. This is a real sweater knit. However, this is a very light knit. But yeah, hopefully you're able to see the quality of the knit. But yeah, it's very light. Um, I probably wouldn't wear it knee deep in the winter. Well, I don't know. Here in Georgia, this is the top of January, and it is, I think it's set to be like 70 degrees today, so I probably will wear it now in the winter, um, but honestly, when I bought this dress, it's really intended for spring, so um, here in Georgia, typically, without all these issues going on with the weather, y'all know what I'm talking about, GW, if you know, you know, um, but if everything is normal, typically in March, it's cooler. It's cooler still. And if we get snow, we typically get snow in March, the top of March, end of February, something like that. So it's still kind of cold. So I got this for the end of March and then to wear throughout the spring and summer as well because it's such a light knit and you can always just roll up the sleeves as well. So that's what I got this color for. And I do plan on wearing it probably with a white bag and some my white Zara shoes. Something simple. Or I forgot my white Orans. I probably wear my white Orans. But yeah, I got it to, you know, for it to be a nice little spring, fun little outfit. I can wear to brunch. I can wear to the mall. You can do a lot with this. It's cute. And the reason why I love stoke dresses because they are conversation starters. I mean, you know, you got the one color, one color. <laughs> you know, it it easily gets attention. So, um, and it's a one and done. Y'all know I'm always down for a one and done. If it's a set or if it's a dress, you got my attention. But yeah, so the feel of it is a very light knit. Um yeah, I wouldn't, if weather was under normal conditions, I would not wear this in the winter unless, you know, you kind of like to layer up clothes and things like that. But other than that, yeah, coldness will go straight through this. It's very thin. Um, which brings me to the price and the quality. The quality is good. Uh, the quality, it gives Zara like the dresses that's typically in the 60 70 80 price range that's what it gives so with that being said the price tag of 160 i think it's five dollars 165 and you have some that's 195 dollars some colorways that are 195 
I think that price tag is a bit ambitious. Um, <laughs> it's expensive um, considering that it's not an actual sweater um, material. And I said that the material is bad because it feels good. It's a light sweater, a, like a light, I wouldn't even say sweater, a light spring summer knit. Um, but yeah, as far as that's concerned, but for the most part, I, I can't see the 165 unless you're paying for uniqueness as far as, you know, one color, you know, and the construction of the dress. If that's what we're saying, okay, but I could easily see this in Zara for $69, maybe $89. Y'all know how they have the little knits in that little price range. I, I definitely can see it around that price range. And that's why I bought this dress. This dress was $61 at Saks. So I caught it on sale at Saks. And if you follow me on Instagram, you would know because I had it with the link for you to get it as well. Now, if you don't follow me, you wouldn't know. You would have missed it. So that's why you need to follow me. <laughs> but yeah, so I, um, I thought it was a good deal. And... You know, I probably could have went down to a large because that's how much room it gives. But I, I really like it. I like the way it feels. Because nine times out of ten, I'm going to end up rolling the sleeves up anyway. Or just bunching the sleeves up and wearing it like that. And yeah. But um, that's my opinion on the price range. I think it's a, it's a bit up there. Um at 165 so if you can catch them on sale get them on sale i'm always posting when they're on sale so um as far as the other two that i have which is the peony and the rose i think they, they call it rosebud and the black and tan those i got on black friday and with a discount it ended up coming up to like 123 a piece that's still kind of up there, but at the same time, you know, I don't want to insult the company. <laughs> so, you know, uh, keeping it real, you know, all, you know, feelings aside, you know, 123, maybe even that, if that was the actual base range, uh, you know, price of the dress, that wouldn't be bad, bad, because 165, that's way up there for for what you're getting but um 123 okay I could kind of see that but you know honestly I, I'm saying about 70 80 that's that's all I can give um but yeah so but I, I did get those on sale and pretty much it is what it is different colorways um and like I said it's fun it's conversational I do see that there are brands out here that are trying to dupe this like your you know China based companies I'm not going to name any names you can tell the difference because that's one of the things a lot of people ask me about you know getting these company you know getting you know, different luxury brands is it worth it the price and all that a lot of times yeah you are paying for the name but then another time you know as a person who know how to sew and actually make clothes myself you're paying for the detail the construction the way things lay because a lot of these companies that dupe stuff they don't care how it lays so you can look at the original and you can look at the fold and your eye is going to gravitate towards the original the most time because the craftsmanship, the way they put things together and how things just lay and look, looks better. So you're paying for better quality versus this company. So, ooh, you know, you know, Jenny, get on the, on the, um, <laughs> go and try to do this real quick. You can just tell the difference. So it's worth paying the extra dollars. Like just from the dupes I've seen. I'm going to stick with styled, whether I agree with their prices or not, because it just looks a lot better to me and my opinion. I haven't came across any dupes that was worth, you know, getting just yet. Now, shipping. It comes in a regular box, so it's no special thrill uh, packaging. So if you're looking for a special thrill, look further. 
you're not going to get it with this. <laughs> so, it's nothing special. Um, Stott do take a long time to ship because, like I said, I ordered this on Black Friday for the Black Friday sale. But I ordered something, I want to say like two weeks prior because they had a pretty good sale. So I was just going to go ahead and buy it. Because like I said, I had my eye on it for a long time. But it just took me some time to take the plunge. And um, I ordered it. And it, uh, like a week went by and my item was still unf unfulfilled. And I'm like, what are they doing? <laughs> so during Black Friday, I just, you know, being that I saved so much on the dresses... I just went ahead and did the uh, $25 two-day shipping, and I did get it quick. But it did take, it took them, I want to say I ordered on like a Friday or a Saturday, and they didn't ship my item until Monday, no, Tuesday, and I got it Wednesday, I think, Wednesday or Thursday. So, yeah, they, um, if you're looking for quick situations, no. Um, you probably need to order through sex or something like that. So yeah, that's the shipping turnaround time. I don't know if it was because of the holiday. Um, cause like I said, I, I placed an order even before the holiday and they were kind of slow. So I had to call them and I told them to cancel my order. Well, I had to email them. So yeah, that's the thing with the packaging. That's the thing with the shipping. But other than that, I like the dresses. Um, I like the craftsmanship. I love the colorway. Do you need to wear shapewear? Yes, you do need to wear shapewear. Now, right now, I just have on like a moderate shapewear from Skims. It's just, um, like a kind of like a bodysuit, a short bodysuit. So it's not maximum suckage in it, but it's just something that kind of, you know, kind of glue you together a little bit to make things a little bit more seamless. But if you have like that waist belt, like I have, um, you know, the one that you wrap around with the Velcro, if you have that, you probably would want to break it out for this one because, you know, that kind of, it, it, you know, it sucks everything in in the midsection. So you probably would want to break that out. Um, depending on where you're going, you may want to wear the shapewear like I have, and you guys will be able to see it better when I show you the styling portion so that way... You can see from head to toe what it looks like. Now, styling, I personally would style this up with white. So, a white bag, white shoes. Definitely wearing this to brunch in the spring and in the summer. Also, a lot of people, I see a lot of people wear this as a cardigan. So, even if you want to get in on this particular dress, but don't want to... You know, wear it as a dress because everything don't sit where it needs to sit. You can open it up and wear it as a cardigan. Put some blue jeans under um, under it. Or you can put some shorts under it. I've seen it styled a lot of different ways. And some of the colorways with this dress actually come with shorts. I've seen Monroe still wear like a short set with it. So you can do that as well. So the options are limitless. But a lot of times, you know, people do say for $165, I'm trying to wear it as a dress. But at the same time, for $165, you can get a lot of wear out of this dress as a cardigan or as a dress. So you always want to maximize your dollar, your cost per wear. So that's with that. So yeah, enough rambling about this video. I hope you guys found this interesting. I hope it answered all of your questions that you had. Um, this is just my honest review about it. Like I said, the 165, I think it's a little bit up there. I think it needs to be 125 to, you know, only because of the uniqueness that I consider this. And, you know, it's a cute little, little design going on, but it still ain't giving, you know, it's still... The uniqueness is the only is its calling card in my opinion. The unique color combo. I don't I haven't seen anybody did this do this before. So yeah. Um yeah, I would buy it again, but it would have to be on sale. I, I don't I, I, I don't think I would go out and spend 165. Well, I'm not gonna say I don't think I know I won't go out and spend 165 
on these dresses. Okay, again. guys, so that wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram on it's Chelsea Jackson underscore so you can see all the good deals and sales and all that good stuff. All new products, high and low luxurious items. And yeah, don't forget to follow me. And don't forget to comment. And don't forget to like and share this video. See you in the next video. Bye.